Hi guys, welcome back to the shop. I'm uh, <clears throat> doing preliminary setup now for flaps and ailerons on uh, one of the wing panels that are painted. And I run into a few problems uh, that I thought I'd share with you. I kind of screwed up when I uh, set the uh, servo uh, positions into the wing. I'd forgotten that I wanted to have the uh, <clears throat> linkage dead-ended. So as a result, um, I actually set it up similar to the aileron servo here where you would have the linkage out here to the side and go straight down to the horn and be centered. However, because I need it in the center to take the load off the, surf off the servo uh, when its uh, flap is up, uh, we need to realign that. So I was thinking about moving this block over, but um, I've got these heavy duty Dubrew uh, control horns, and what I've done is put a ball here in the center and put it a, a ball link extension on the outside and uh, tighten that all up, and that gives me a good solid um, control horn. Now, the other problem that I run into is the angle, the leverage advantage and the because of the hinge line here didn't work out the way I quite I wanted it. I'll show you what I mean. We'll activate the flap. As you can see, get a lot of throw. I have really but the problem is we get down beyond the sit where we've got a good uh, physical limit and you can see how much movement I've got in the flap. So to correct that, uh, what I've done over here on the other flap, you can see, is I reversed the control horn. Now I've got a good solid connection. I've got a good mechanical advantage when, uh, when a servo is actu actuated, so uh, it takes all the slop out. Of the uh, of the flap that I would have, like we have in this one over here, you can see that that's totally unacceptable. Here, we're completely solid. So, what I got to do is take uh, this arrangement and flip this around, make a new push rod, and get it back to this one, so that. Uh, I'll have them both working in this manner. And I think that'll, that'll, that'll take care of any of my problem. And uh, it certainly uh, gives me a good solid linkage to the flap. I like slowing the servo down too, as you can see. Gives you a nice flap action. And of course, then we've got the aileron hooked up. So all I got left to do is uh, Flip that uh, control horn around and uh, make a new push rod and uh, these flaps should be good to go. And then we'll get the minor uh, centering adjustments. I'm going to have to uh, optionally have to do some centering. These are digital servos, high-tech digital servos, so uh, I'll hook up a servo programmer to them once I get everything done and then I can uh, just the, uh, the center points and the travels make sure that they're consistent throughout uh, both flap movements. Okay guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.